Hi everyone, um, I haven't done a tag in a very long time, so I decided to do the furry friend tag. So what this is, is a tag about my pets, and if you guys want to do it, go ahead and do it. I tag every single one of you watching, and if you do do it, let me know down in the comments below. There are nine questions. Um, I've read them, but I haven't thought about the answers, which is probably sometimes a good thing to do, but I didn't. So this might be all over the place, but bear with me. <laughs> so the first question is, what is your pet's name? Um, I have three cats, Ringo, female, Smokey, male, and Charlie, male, and I have one dog, Monkey, male. Next question, what kind of pet is it and what breed? So obviously Ringo, Smokey, and Charlie are all cats breed? I only know Ringo's breed and that is a rag doll. Um, I'm drawing a blank on Charlie and Smokey's breed so I'm terribly sorry but Monkey, which is a dog, is a beagle. Next question. How long have you had your pet? Um, the pets aren't really mine. They're actually like a family pet because uh, I live with my girlfriend and her parents. And I moved here about over two years ago. And so I've had the three cats for that long. But about a year and a half ago is when we bought Monkey or adopted him. So I've had him for about a year and a half. Yeah, about that long. How did you get your pet? Well, my three cats, I actually got them by just moving here, which I'm so happy about. I'm so happy here. I love being with my girlfriend, and I'm so glad that now I can call these four animals a part of my family. I love them very, very much. But how they got Charlie, I'll tell you how they got him. Charlie, which is laying on my bed over there, um, he used to be my girlfriend's mom's grandma's cat, I think, and they kind of like inherited him or just you know she gave them to him I don't really know the full story and then as for Smokey and Ringo um, my girlfriend's dad actually found them as kittens drowning in a ditch it is actually a very emotional story when they first told it to me I actually cried because I mean for any animals to be drowning is so sad and the fact that um crystal's dad went out of his way to save them is just such a beautiful story there were actually more kittens along with ringo and Smokey, but they got um they all got put into wonderful homes and they kept ringo and Smokey. it's a very beautiful story but it's very very sad and um but how we got monkey Okay, so my girlfriend's mom was out one day with her friend and I guess they were shopping and they went past PetSmart and I guess there were a lot of dogs outside that were uh, going to be adopted or trying to be adopted and I guess um, she was kind of just like magnetized towards him. It was kind of like meant to be. So she sent her husband, which is my girlfriend's dad, um, a picture of monkey and he was saying how she kind of wanted to adopt the dog we all thought it was a joke at first but then I saw the picture and I was like oh I like fell in love with just a picture so we decided to go look at monkey you know just to kind of see him and we all pretty much fell in love with him it was like really meant to be he's a such a sweet dog honestly he loves everybody and he is just so sweet uh, and he's so fun and funny and uh, when we first got him actually he was 18 pounds and he's probably tripled since then this might be bad but you know to show our affection we give him snacks and he's kind of gained some weight but he is just adorable so are the three animals I've, I've or the three cats I really do love them so the next question is how old is your pet? Oh boy. Um, Charlie, he's an old man. I do know that. He's very old. 
I honestly can't tell you. He's a good, like, 17, 18 years old. Um, as for Ringo and Smokey, I think they're about four. I don't really know. And then, uh, Monkey, I think he's about three or four as well. What are some quirky, quir quirky <laughs> things about your pet's personality? As you can tell, this is live time, no editing, and if I mispronounce something, you guys get to see it. But what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? <sighs> well, instead of like saying quirky things about the personality, I'll just say something about each and every single one of them. It's kind of like their thing. So I'm going to start with Charlie because he's right there and I keep looking at him. Charlie loves feet. He has like a foot fetish. I don't know. It might be. It's a little creepy, I think. <laughs> no. But he really does love people's feet. He will like purr on them and like bury his face in them and rub his cheeks against them and rub his, okay, his butt, like the back of his butt, not like his raw butt, okay. But he'll just like rub himself on people's feet. It's very strange. And he loves, loves when people will pet him with their feet. Right, Charlie? If only you guys could see him right now. Um, as for Ringo, she loves paper balls, um, which is like, you know, a paper but like crumpled up. She just loves it and loves to play with it. And we don't say that she meows, we actually say that she chirps because she literally sounds like she's chirping like, like a bird. Like I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and then as for Smokey, I always joke around and say that he's kind of like doofy. Because he does seem a little doofy, I must say. <laughs> it's funny to think about it. And um, it always seems like he's like staring into space. I don't even know. And another thing about him is that he always is hungry. He is always whining for food. And by whining, I mean it's like this high-pitched meow that makes you want to like throw a pillow at him. But no, I will not do it. <laughs> But really, it's like this high-pitched meow, and you're just like, stop it, Smokey, stop it. <laughs> and then as for Monkey, um, he clings, and he clings very bad. He always has to be near somebody. Um, I don't know how his past life was before we adopted him, but um, I really hope it wasn't, you know, a bad life for him. But either way, he's in a wonderful home now. We take care of him perfectly. And we just love him to death. But um, he really does like to be with somebody 24-7. And one another thing about him is whenever we give him a treat, not like a really small one, but kind of like, you know, like a dog bacon or a dog bone or something. What he'll do is, if you guys have watched my vlogs, you guys have probably seen this, but what he'll do is is he'll take it, he'll run out into the living room, and he won't touch it. He'll, like, sit there, and he'll, like, look at you, waiting for you to, like, come and act like you're gonna get it, and then when you try to get it from him, he'll start, like, growling, and you think he's gonna, like, kick your butt, but really he's just playing around. It is really, really adorable. Um, the next question is, what are, oh, just did that one. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Honestly, I love them all like they are family. Like, it, it's crazy to me. And even talking about it makes me a little, like, misty. Like, I feel like I'm about to start crying. Um, I, I really do see them, you know, as if they're, like, children. Like, my children or, like, my brother and sister. It's, it's very weird, but if you're an animal lover like I am, then you completely understand. Um, I love them all very very much and I do have this unique bond with each and every single one of them <sighs> but me and Charlie I don't know I don't know what I would do without Charlie he honestly brightens my day and knowing that he's so old like breaks my heart because I wish I would have you know known him all his life because he's a really wonderful cat even though he likes to nip at your feet or the back of your legs but he really is wonderful and um 
like I said, I have a bond with all of them, but Charlie really, I'm in love with him. I'm in love with Charlie. <laughs> no, but, um, I don't know. They're just, my relationship with all four of them means everything to me. They make me laugh. Yes, they annoy me sometimes by stepping on my computer or meowing when I'm sleeping or something, but, you know, they're wonderful animals and literally they are my family. Next question is, what are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? All times, all times. <laughs> Even when they annoy me, they still have a cute way of doing it. Um, I just, I love them all so much. And um, uh, I have so many stories with them. <sighs> so I guess I'll start with Monkey and I'm gonna make them very quick because time is a running out on my camera. So, um, with Monkey, I remember one time he hopped the fence and I was home alone with my girlfriend. I was legit scared. I had no idea what to do. So I booked it outside. I didn't care what temperature it was. I didn't care who was watching me, but I booked it and I ran. Yes, I was a fat chick running down the street. It was legit happening. And... I was like freaking out like I was yelling his name and then all of a sudden I saw him and he ran to me like speed of lightning it was so adorable so I was like monkey da, 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 da. you know me and my mad voice and I tried to carry him home but he was becoming pretty hef he was getting fat around that time and it was like hurting so I tried to sit him down on the ground because I needed like a break and he booked it again and he like ran into somebody's yard so I was gonna go get him in the per in the person's yard and as I was getting him I guess there was like a gutter with like a billions of leaves so I didn't even know it was a gutter and I fell in it I fell in the gutter you guys it was a horrid experience but he's safe and sound now <laughs> um that is like the main thing I can think of when it comes to a story about the animals and since it is such a short time that I have left I'm just gonna stick with that story because honestly out of all the animals that has to be like my favorite story it is so funny I wish I could have gotten it on camera but I didn't film back then but it was really really funny and my girlfriend was there to experience the whole thing so you can even ask her it was hilarious <laughs> and the last question is what nicknames do you call your pets so I call Charlie my baby. No, I call Charlie Charles or my baby. Okay, maybe I do call him that. I call him babe, babes, my love. I don't know. That's just how I do. And I call monkey monks, monks a lot, monk man, whatever I can think of. Or fatty because he is pretty fat. <laughs> and then I call Ringo Ringers sometimes. I don't even know. Or we all tend to call her Baby Girl sometimes. Um, I call Smokey Smokes. Or Smokey. Um, I don't really have that many nicknames. I feel like Monkey has the most because it's either Monkey, Monks, Monk. Just so many different ones. But that is the last question, and you guys have all seen my pets before, but I will make sure to put a few photos at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and again, if you guys have pets and you love them as much as me, please do this tag. So again, thank you for watching. Bye!